dehydrated and bruised more easily. But it wasn't until she was hospitalized over winter break that her life was turned upside down. Her coach describes Allie Little as a player that doesn't score the most goals on the team, but one who always seems to score important goals. Her passion for soccer was at the forefront when she confronted a threat to her life. On the first day that they told me I thought I had leukemia, one of the questions I asked them was about soccer, and they kind of laughed at me, and not laugh, but they didn't understand why I, that was my concern at that point. Um, and the doctors told me that I probably would never play soccer again, which was obviously devastating. Um, hearing you probably have cancer <laughs> is not a fun thing to hear. And then when the one thing you love, they tell you you can't do either. Um, it was pretty terrible. Her doctors determined she didn't have cancer. Instead, she had severe aplastic anemia. The only known cure involves a bone marrow transplant and her teammates and soccer players at other schools held bone marrow drives to try and find her match. Unfortunately for Little, her markers make her a difficult match, but it opened the door for her to try an experimental treatment, one that would allow her to come back to soccer this year. If I had a transplant, I wouldn't be here right now. I would be in isolation. When you have a bone marrow transplant, you're pretty much in isolation for nine months. So I'm very lucky that I had an alternative treatment and it's working because it only works in about two-thirds of patients. Little began working out at home, ramping up for a possible return, inspiring her teammates. We just, there was like that light at the end of the tunnel that was like, there's a chance, there's like a real chance for this. And um, yeah, I'm so happy she made it happen. <laughs> and I think everyone else is. As soon as it became um, a possibility, she, she was on me, have you got the summer workout yet? Do we have the summer workout yet? I didn't have it printed yet, I couldn't send it to her yet. Um, I said, just do a last year's summer workout to start and we'll get it to you. Um, so she was determined. She admits she's not all the way back, but making it back at all is remarkable. They weren't really sure I was gonna be able to compete at a college level with my hemoglobin still being very low, lower than normal people, so I have a lot less oxygen in my blood. So um, it is it's difficult to catch my breath sometimes than other players, but I'm here, I'm playing. And that she is. A little will continue with her medication into the winter and is hopeful her blood counts don't drop and she can continue on with her life and playing soccer. This is Channel 8 WMTW, Maine's total 